Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. That's right. I'm alive. Hey, is that guy alive? Yes, alive. Not dead, not unconscious, nothing nefarious, maybe. Maybe a few nefarious things. Only one or two nefarious things. And then I'm here on the couch, backlit by the daytime. You can see that it's the daytime when you look out the window. Look at that. Look at the window. It's uh, lighting up back there. Okay, we'll see how they go. Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, what are we doing Wednesdays? Middle of the day. I uh, where where's the cashews? Well, that's okay. And I I ordered the cashews chicken, and there's no 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 nope. yeah no cashews in it. Okay. It's still gonna be good, and it's still gonna be food. It's got all the vegetables and all that other stuff, though. But that's why I wanted the cashews specifically. But it's okay. Might as well get broccoli. Um, yesterday, on Tuesday, I was here at like three, five, something like that, in the middle of the day. What was I doing? I was. Uh, Talking to, I don't know, maybe nobody. Listening to messages, listening to a lot of yellow phone messages. We did a lot of tape stuff yesterday. I don't know if we got to anybody on the phone yesterday, and I'm thinking about it. Did anybody answer the phone? So, call up on some grape stuff. Call up on some talking. I'm like, hey, when was the last time it was just you and me? We just sat down and talked for a while. So we did that yesterday, viewers. Should thank you, the viewers, for John. I was doing about saying hi to John. Hi, John. Oh, there. I did that. Thanks for watching, John. It's all about. It's like the John Webster uh, dedication show. I was thinking about things, you know. I try not to think about things, but I do sometimes, I guess. Thinking about the dice game. Everybody's always whining about the dice game. Or I get at least John is. So John, if you're watching this, I'm thinking about bringing it back just for you. I know it's maybe it's going on in 2017. Maybe it'll go back in 2000. Uh, Whatever this year is, people seem to love it so much. But when we do it every day, uh, people are bringing it up to me, though. Uh, after the program yesterday, I went home to my residence. So, in my head. And, oh, oh. Here's something. I'm filling out all these all this paperwork to try to get a state job. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know uh, the the privacy of this. What's gonna happen? Or who's gonna watch this program? But we'll see if I, I do this. But uh, I'm taking these computer tests and stuff and background checks and whatever, fraud claims, and they're like, I really don't think that I have anything, but what if they do? I 
like, I don't know when I'm giving anybody the chance to do it, but now I did. So, so that gives me a thing. You know, so you're, you know, you were laying low, now you're in big trouble. So, trying to avoid getting in big trouble, but at the same time, I might do this thing. So some changes in my life, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know if they're gonna find this, the state job, people, they're gonna find this program that dates back for years and years? I don't think they will. Uh, yeah, it was the middle of the day, the day off yesterday, so I just went, but after, like, I got to the program, I didn't go home though. No. I rode the bus to Lacey, who I was gonna go to Value Village in the dollar store. I did go to Value Village. Value Village is closing at seven o'clock. They used to close at nine o'clock, I believe. Uh, another hours of change. It's like weird virus times or something. Happy, happy, happy virus times. And then I, uh, I went out there. I didn't find anything good though at Valley Village. I'm looking for radios, karaoke machines. I don't already have those. Maybe I'm looking for novelty. I don't know what I'm looking for. I went to uh, uh, <laughs> um, the Dollar Tree, and they got voodoo chips back. For a long time, they only had spicy voodoo chips and uh, pickle, pickle flavor, which they call R. Uh, allig alligators, pickles, or something like that? Some kind of joke, I guess. Why is this, what does this pickles have to do with anything with alligators, but maybe they're both green? Are alligators green? Are they like, well, I guess maybe pickles are pretty dark green, but in cartoons, pickles are medium green. I guess alligators are medium green cartoons, too. But they're olive green, or pickle green, you could call them. Get the pickle alligator chips, but sometimes I would get the spicy voodoo ones. But I prefer regular voodoo, and they had them back at the Dollar Tree, so I got some. The voodoo chips kind of seem like a premium brand, but man, I guess they're a garbage brand. They're at the Dollar Tree. They were at Winco, but they stopped selling them at Winco. But I can get them at the Dollar Tree. So I got. That and I don't know, lots of other stuff. You know, I, I went to the Dollar Tree with uh, without a plan, and then you walked out with like I walked out with like maybe almost twenty dollars worth of things, and then I was like, "What is in this bag?" I just kind of walk around that store, just grabbing some stuff. I'm like, "Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that." And then uh, before you know it. I'm uh, having too many things to even fit in my bag. And what did I even get? Mostly a bunch of junk food. Is it a deal? Hard to know. I want the small size packages. The dollar stores, right? I don't know if it's a deal or not. What else is a dollar? The deal is that it's a dollar, everything was steeled up, so I'm paying a dollar for uh, convenience. I don't know if I was like very rich, money was no option. Would I still be going to the dollar store? Or when maybe, like right now, I kind of, when I walk into the dollar store, I'm like, I kind of feel like money is no option. 
Like, I can start throwing things into my shopping bag there, which actually just carry around me, but that's what's keeping me from getting too much, is that I'm not using a bag while I'm shopping, I'm just putting everything in my hands, walking around. But I kind of feel like money's no option when I'm at the dollar store. I'm like, ah, oh, I can just buy anything. I can afford, you know, I know I don't have the price, you don't have to look at the price, you start grabbing things. Because other stores, everything's priced. You know, like, I gotta consider, I think this one or that one. I like the dollar store, maybe, maybe I like the dollar store just because of the, of the way it's set up, you don't have to look at the price, you just grab stuff and you know. Well, careful about what you're getting, though. What if there was a two-dollar store? I mean, nice was a dollar fifty store, but like half the stuff, well, not half, but like an eight, an eighth of the stuff at the dollar or at the Daiso is not even dollar fifty. So you have to keep looking around. But I still end up just kind of grabbing all the stuff because usually, it's not more than fives anyway. But I haven't been back up there since the virus times. But maybe I'll go soon and there's going to be some weird changes in my life to find out. Uh, maybe it shouldn't be too preemptive. It's stressful and I guess you got to have some stress in your life to move forward. My landlord did try to sell my house from under me so I might be moving. Maybe I moved to grandma's house. So, is the dollar, yeah, is the dollar store a good value, or, it's definitely fun to go, though. I think, you know, my, my name is Washington, is going to go to the regular store, and it's like, oh, look, socks, look, uh, pants, take five of those. Like, oh, hats, okay, I'm just going to go to the store to the store, and just get that stuff. Like, oh, I want that thing, but I already have one, I want what I want. I got a TV show, and I got shelter, uh, <laughs> and food. Water's free from the well. So, I own oh, stability there. That's one thing I don't have because of my home. So, if I could buy that, you can't buy. I guess money can buy stability. Huh? Money can't buy happiness, but money can buy stability. That's for sure. If you're good with it, anyway. Enough money can buy stability. Or dollar. <laughs> money can money buy happiness, but money can buy tacos. Oh, yeah. Uh, the whole money can't buy happiness thing is... Uh, some weird book. I went to Far East today and I woke up. Um, I had to write some emails. I'm emailing people all the time. And then I uh, wrote some emails and then I uh, went down to Far East, called Far East. Went down there to pick it up. People at Far East, they told me, well, at Far East, people are eating inside now, and they don't wear the mask or not. Um, they're not wearing the mask, so it's like, when the employees aren't wearing the mask, is it polite to wear the mask or not wear the mask or what? I don't know. I don't know what's right anymore. Right or wrong. But, uh, I... One, two, there. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. They said that next week they're going to raise the price by 50 cents on their rice bowls, which are extremely good value already. And they're still going to be a very good value even when they raise the price by 50 cents. They said the food costs are so much, too much. So I guess food costs are way up. But I can't tell the difference, I guess. I'm just an, um, an individual. Anyway, is this the, uh, I don't know, economic crisis? Is there an economic crisis? It kind of almost seems like there's the opposite of an economic crisis, because everybody's getting fancy. 
job of doing stuff and nobody wants to work at McDonald's. Isn't that the opposite of an economic crisis? I heard everybody, maybe everybody's dead from the virus that was going to be working at the state or at the places. Oh, are they dead? Who's dead? I don't know anybody personally who's dead. Heather got the virus. Yellowfell got the virus. But they lived and they seem to be okay afterwards. So we'll see who's gonna be who's dead. Who's dead? Dun 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 dun. Let me tell you once again, who's dead? All right, time's over. I'm gonna go over there and get on the phone. Let's see. Oh. I gotta take my pills too. Yeah, nobody's getting on the on the meat. You can get on the meat. Go to whiteyshipium.com. See if uh, oh, yellow fellows on there. The YouTube is maybe struggling or something. It's giving me red lights. Red lights. Struggling. Struggling. Uh, here's my pills. I got fish pills, multivitamins, and vitamin D. I'm thinking about trying to get more vitamins. Looks like uh, yellow fellow left a few voicemails and some spam mail made it through the filter. <laughs> Touch in base with you. Why didn't you come to the studio? I think it's Google. Google knows. Here's the yellow phone messages. I almost got my fingers stuck in this, in this uh, pill jar. How much fish pills should I be eating? Eat enough that uh, it's like my energy? Driving up the hill to work. I don't have time to leave many more uh, messages today. Feeling a little down. Like I either have like manic, like moods where I'm singing and making noises and acting like Daffy Duck or something. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like singing the songs and being annoying, and then I'm like. Uh, Thoroughly exhausted and worn out, strung out, like in two modes. I oscillate between. What it seems like. Ah, I, wish I, could just I think come it's here alcohol. Eat pizza. I wish I didn't have to be the, the servant guy, but that's what's going on. So I'm here. At least I can stop thinking about my life. Yeah. What a, what a sad sack I am. What a pathetic sad sack. Oh, now I'm feeling sorry for myself now. Wow, uh, I just can't win. I gotta stop. It's not pathetic. Uh, keep doing it. Alright, bye. Hey. Um, leaving a message to get on TV. Um. So what you got the bombers during the call yesterday during the show. I was watching uh, shortly after it streamed live, but then I lost the link so I couldn't finish the episode. But I was around when I 
I had access to the link for a little bit. Uh, and I heard you mention you had bombers. Also, you put that in your voicemail you left me. What were they doing? Um, Bombing. Yeah, what were they doing? Bombing. Uh, still pretty confused about whether or not I can handle alcohol. Yeah. Very split down the middle. And I'm having a tough time. So, probably getting old. Uh, is Mark smoking? Um, Um, I got a coffee. I'm going to turn a little bit of before I go into work. Snapping it open. It's, um, espresso uh, mocha. It's got an American. <laughs> Flag on it says America's coffee. Wow, I'm gonna take a sip. Hello. Oh, oh there's an emergency vehicle going by. It's okay. Watch this. There it goes. That would be my go-to. Emergency. There's a sign that says Jesus is love. Set me free. Um, I'm about ready for that. Jesus is lost, let me free. Um, don't get a tuna sandwich at work tonight. Let's see what happens. Everyone seems surprised by how I look. Change the tether. Oh, you hear that? You look like a neat you. nerd or like a, like a prep mm -hmm. kid. He's talking, He's about, talking about, you. about you. He said that you, he, he heard you saying that you. What is it though? So, my voice doesn't match my look. That's the deal. He's questioning why you said that his voice doesn't match his look. Oh. So that thing. Yeah, I don't know. He's like, so my voice doesn't match my look, huh? It's just like when you see... It's just like when you see a cartoon character's voice, uh, the voice actor for the first time, and you're like, wow. <laughs> Because in my head, I had my, a different picture. And in my head, he was a tiny little dude, and then probably, like, um, drove a Subaru, and, like, um, he, like, like skinny little boy, little kid, little kid, little looking. That's what it looks like in my head, but um, that's not what he looks like in person, so. You're trying to, you're, you're trying to look tough, huh? Maybe he's looking tough, huh? Um, what? I... I had a, like reading like a movie, or reading a book and we watched a movie, you know, yeah. and like, that's what that person's looking like uh -huh. in the movie. That's not what they're supposed to look like, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How are you? What are you doing? Trying to focus and do something with my freaking... Mess of shit that I've now thrown all over the place. It's even oh. worse than it was before. I just fucking, I'm like, I start doing shit. And then, I like, get distracted because I don't want to do anything. So, it's frustrating. I'm feeling really frustrated and sad today. I'm just like, just, like, I just, like, you know, it's just, it's, it just gets, it gets harder. It's getting harder still every day right now. Like, before I didn't want to do drugs, no, I did And it's frustrating, it's pissing me off. And, um... Yep. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Doing things, you get that job yet? They, okay. give, they give you the job? No, I guess I talked to him, I talked to him yesterday because I was so surprised they haven't called me yet. But he said that she's on vacation until the end of this week. So I'm probably going to get my call on Monday. To come in for an interview. Here we are. You, uh, you're not, uh, fucking off, right? That's what you call it? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> not doing that. What? Not fucking off, that's what you call it? What? 
the thing? Sober uh, sobriety. What about it? No drug. You're not not doing the drug. What are you saying? Are you not you're not doing the drugs, right? Yeah. Good. That's good. No. <laughs> no. What are you saying right now? I'm confused. I'm saying I'm asking about I'm trying to like uh be uh coy about asking if you're doing meth. You can ask me. Instead of being weird about it. Well, I want to be, I don't want to just say, are you on meth right now or something? Yeah, you know? No, I'm not. That's good. good. That's I'm waiting for something else. I'm really excited. I'm waiting for this job. I, I, I really want to get started because I think I'll feel a lot better about everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, so I'm waiting for that, and then we'll see what happens after that, how that goes. It's hard. It, yeah, it's hard to, hard to deal with time. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have, like, a job and this TV show, mostly this TV show to do, but I guess you have, yep. you can do the TV show. Um, I want to call my brother. Okay. Because it's the daytime, I think he's going to be available. Okay. But, man, that's prior. You ever, do you ever buy old meat at Safeway? It's a good deal. <laughs> old meat? You just gotta eat it immediately, huh? Yeah, you gotta eat it the same day. Just walk out there, get some old meat. It's value meat. It's half price. You can get steaks half price. Just go there. I heard that food prices are going up. It's true. Barrios told me that they're raising the price by 50 cents. Jim is here too. Gene? James. James? James. This is James. The man had one. How's the hot dog? Is it good? You put it in the bun? You have a bun? I got a bun from work. From work? Yep. From Lowe's? Yep. Why do they have hot dog runs? So we had a party on the 4th. Then what? So then they had leftover hot dog buns from the break room. <laughs> How many? I don't know, a lot. You took, they, they gave you hot dogs at work? Yeah, I cooked all the burgers at work on, on Sunday. Oh, you did? Yeah. On the clock? Yep. Wow, burger cooking, huh? You had a, had a, little, had a little party. We had a barbecue on, on the clock. Yeah, instead of giving you the day off, huh? Yeah. Did you have to work during the hottest day of all time? Yep. How did that go? Both of them. Uh, it was kind of exciting. And it wasn't that hot inside. They had AC, but it was uh, it was like crazy hot in the um, outside. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you step outside at midnight on that day? No, I I was hiding in the basement. You should have gone outside at, in the middle of the night. It felt like it was like uh, you ever been to like Florida? Well. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You know, remember, remember Florida in the middle hot. of the night? 
Too hot. That's how it felt here. Wow. wow. Crazy. Um, you know, I was avoiding it. Yeah, you should have, should have got outside. But uh, you uh, go inside and outside and then uh, uh, get shocked. Like, like you no, shocked, you're like, whoa, it's cold, it's hot. Wow, it's cold, it's cold. You know, no. Nobody. You go outside. It's like, is it, what time is it? It felt like it was the middle of the day, but it was midnight. Nobody at your work uh, had a had a heat stroke. No. That's good. Hot, hot dogs. What would you put on your hot dog? Mustard. I don't have any uh, any ketchup. Just mustard. You got yellow mustard? Sure. Well, sure. You buy it? Or is it still old mustard from grandma? Uh, new mustard. I, well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you probably bought all the food that's in that house by the time. Anyway, huh? I threw it all at, when Grandma and Dad threw everything out. Oh yeah, that's yeah, probably, probably good. good. Um, so you knew mustard, huh? Mm-hmm. I guess so for brand mustard, hot dogs and mustard. Air, air fryer hot dogs, huh? Just air fry everything. It's uh, you might as well. It turns out better than the microwave. Yeah. Does it take the same amount of time? A little bit longer, but you don't. It doesn't matter. Just set it and then walk away. Yeah. Well, you you got tater tots? No. You ever put them in there? Hot dog. You ever had an air fryer, James? Yeah, Ashley had one. You use it? Yeah, I, I loved it. What did you put on it? Everything. Anything frozen. Yeah. Hot dogs? No, I never put hot dogs in it. We're like, what, burritos? French fries? Burritos, chicken nuggets, fries, yeah. anything frozen. Like Instead of in the oven. I just put it in the oven. Yeah. It's just easier. It is basically a, a convection oven. I think it is a convection oven. Yeah, it is. It is. We call it air fryer, but I think it's just a convection oven. It's just a fancy name. It's even a new name to sell them. Yeah. yeah. They made it more, more, more like, easier, littler. What I know? It's a, it's a toaster oven mixed with a convection oven. That's all it is. I... I what, what, what is the, con I think it's just a convection oven, it's not even a, I mean, what, what is it combining with the toaster oven part? Just a small? It's not a toaster oven. I think it's not even a toaster oven, I think it's just like completely a uh, uh, convection oven. Just a, it's just a small convection oven. Isn't that a toaster oven? I think a toaster oven is a a small convection oven. It saves. It, it's probably like probably saves energy too. Compared to what? A regular oven. You think so? Because it's less time. It's smaller. It's smaller. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's got the um. Uh. It's got the regular plug, you know, the oven that's got that crazy plug? Yeah. <coughs> so maybe, but, uh, what's, uh, you trying to save energy for the environment? Money. Yeah, for money. Are they, how they, how they sell them? They, they, you got a power bill? Yeah, it was like a hundred, hundred thirty-seven $137, I think, maybe for... For uh, a month? June. For June. That much? Why? Because of XC? Probably. That seems like a lot. Just for power? Whatever. Yeah, but no, just for power though, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Um. Wow. Uh, are you going to eat the hot dog? You eating it? 
Yeah. You eat two? Alright, one hot dog. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> Wait, you wanna get out of business in the future? No, goodbye. You don't wanna talk about hot dogs anymore? Too many questions. Bye bye. He is over it. Hot dogs! Hot dogs, man. What are you talking about hot dogs so much? I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. Oh no, man, I have one like this. I didn't eat it before. Did I eat a hot dog on 4th of July? I might have. I don't remember. Yeah. I had burgers. I've had burgers. I've been to fast food a little bit. Subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. It's yellow fellow, James. There's a message for yellow fellow. Hi, can you hear me? I think you can on the message, yeah. yeah. Um, you don't sound weird. You look weird. <laughs> you don't look you weird. Don't. <laughs> it's what? like a cartoon. It's like a cartoon. No, you don't look weird. It's just, yeah, it's like a cartoon. I just met the voice. That's all. It's not weird. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 uh, um, we got about 25 minutes. We do the messages and look at some of this tape stuff. What? You like? Oh, here's. Let's leave a message for the future. For the future, and then we gotta like, uh, so everyone keep, this is gonna probably be in 4-3 for sure, so everyone keep everything you're pointing at in the middle. Alright, here we go, this is a message to the future. Now. Hey future, it's us the past. Hi, hi future, how are you doing? How are your bones? <laughs> are they strong? My bones work right now, and I have all my fingers, so hopefully you can do it, not to rub it in. Uh, we're at TCTV, and... Pleasure we're, Systems is here. Oh, yeah, Pleasure Systems over there. We get a shot? There. Wow, uh, hey, four years ago. Uh, <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 How are your bones? How are your bones? Huh? How are my bones? That's what I asked. That's what the past asked. How are your bones? Oh, bones. 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 The B. Huh? The B, not a PH. Bones, like like, like your, your femur. femur. Okay, yeah. Good? Good? They hurt. They do? They do? Your bones hurt? hurt? Always. Why? My neck, my back. I'm not the same, I hurt. Yeah, <laughs> what, what? Did you do something? I was in pain. No, my neck has always kind of bothered me, and then the accident just made it worse. Oh, you got in that car accident and now you're in pain all the time? Did you go to the doctor? It was, it was bad before. Yeah, I was going to the chiropractor twice a week and then COVID happened and I just, I just stopped. We didn't go to plan because of the work and shit. So I stopped going for a while and then I moved and everything else. So now I need to start going again, but. Uh-uh. I need to find anyone that's there. Yeah, well, you, oh, you got Starbucks gave you a chiropractor? Freaking up. Oh, no. Why is it? Why is it not working very well? It looks like the internet's going slow, I believe. What'd you say about Starbucks? They pay for your chiropractor? My... My, uh... I don't even know. Because they weren't even billing me because they were paying on the accident. So I don't know if my insurance paid for it or not, but it probably paid for some of it. Was it working? Yeah, going to the chiropractor definitely helped. And it's been getting worse since then? Sure. 
I have. I mean, I haven't finished now. I can start again. I have pretty bad posture, and whenever I, you, know, you go to the fair and they tell you, and they have the, the chiropractors at the fair trying to get business. You know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. And then they always told me that yeah. I was messed up, and my whole family they always said, "You're gonna get messed up if you keep having bad posture." And then those people at the place they always said that I had a problem, but I had never been the chiropractor. I feel pretty good. Well, maybe one day you're gonna be in a lot of pain. Who knows? That's maybe your body's built that way on purpose. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, when I was little, they always told me if I don't stand up, I'm gonna have a bad back. But I guess I'm old now. Am I not old yet? Oh, how much physical stuff do you do to know, to gauge if you have a bad back? Uh, I've got my bike a lot. That's true. I don't know how much that makes a back, but yeah. Oh, but that's like, uh, how much back, how much like labor do I do? Yeah, I mean, you're not lifting stuff off. Yeah, very little lifting. Okay. I, try, I don't want to lift heavy. Back. I don't want to lift heavy things. Some people pay money to lift heavy things. If I can, I try not to lift heavy things. Why would you lift heavy things if you don't have to? Uh oh. Yeah. Well. The internet is going slow. Why? When, uh, I want to record a message to the future, but uh, James is frozen. Oh, is it going to work? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. I'm, you're frozen. Damn. Oh, now you're... I don't know. Uh-oh. He's going to come back and see. If James comes back, I'm going to mess with the future. Oh. Is it working? Hey, okay, I'm going to go mess with the future. Hey, future, it's us the past. Where is the future, James? Mm. I did just. We're talking to y'all for uh, messages. We're talking about better about you got hot dogs from work. I did just. Bitch. Did you, uh, are you working for the government? Okay, bye, future. I might work for the government. But I don't know if they're going to find this. I'm gonna con you think they're going to find this show? I don't think I really do anything wrong. But they might be like, what are you doing? You do? I'm, gonna, I might, I'm trying to work for the government. We're going to see if it works out, but it might not work out. Huh? How? I'm applying to jobs. But we're going to see if it, if it works out. But they, they want to do a background check on me now. So I've made it through some several really? levels, and I don't think I have done anything, but I'm concerned that what if I did, I didn't even know. Huh? Oh, James, is, the internet's messed up. No good, no good. Internet is not working well. I think it's my end, James, if you can hear me. Oh, calling on here now, huh? Hello? Future. James. I answered. Is not. I don't know what's going on with it.
Jim's trying to get on the phone. Uh, Wednesday, I was still in the basement. Let's see if, uh, where's Tuesday, though? I didn't have a drop in there. I don't hear him. My throat's there. Monday? Hey, future test the past. Oh, uh, maybe that was. Hey, future. Tuesday, I don't want to be laying in a hospital bed in the future with my organ, my one particular organ overblown and uh, painful bleeding. And I want a doctor that will take care of me in that case and do a good job and help me be better. It's Wednesday. I'm back at the studio. It's chilled out. The heat wave was short and weird in the trip. Okay, bye, future. Bye. Bye. Yeah, why was the heat wave so short? That was good, though. That is short, but still. I mean, hi, future. Maybe. Not hired yet. It's Thursday. Back to the studio. It's cool. Bye, future. yet is uh, do you have rough things? Are you repeating the same mistakes of buying too much things? I don't know. It's Hopefully not. Oh, Ellensburg. Hey, Ellensburg. Yeah. Oh, Ellensburg. It's a path. Get yourself a foot long hot dog. Is it gonna fit in your microwave? Uh, that's, that's the side out of the microwave, so it fits. Who gives a rat's ass? Okay, bye, future. Who gives a rat's ass? Hey, future, that's the path. Hey, future, I can't stop thinking about squirrels. For fires, and we're in y'all fellas' apartment, look at this. And I'm thinking about squirrels lately. You didn't say anything about squirrels today. Yeah. It's Sunday. Squirrels. Bye, future. Hello, future. Hi, future. It's the 5th of July, me and his moms met each other. <laughs> Everybody has their fingers. Yeah, I have ten fingers. How do you? How many fingers do you have? Bye, future. Uh, hey, program. Hey, buddy. How are ya? I'm doing good. I'm at my job. I'm having lunch. I'm eating three tacos, two chicken, one carne asada. Wow. How many uh, fingers do you have? I have ten fingers. Hey, congratulations. How about you? I got all ten. They're good. I have not lit off fireworks in years. You have what? I haven't lit off fireworks in years. Yeah. I've got a box of fireworks. Did I tell you about my box of fireworks? I think I saw it, but what about it? I don't know. I bought it like four years ago or five years ago, and I haven't even shot them off. They're just sitting and carrying them from house to house. Where do you keep them? You ever worried that they're gonna explode spontaneously? I am. I kind of want to get rid of them. I don't know what to do. How do you get rid of fireworks? <laughs> if only there was a way to destroy them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, I don't know how to do it safely. Maybe, um, maybe you should give it to the homeless. <laughs> I was gonna be, like put out a free box in front of uh, like my house on around Fourth of July time, but uh, they're really old, so I didn't want to encourage people to use like really old fireworks. Maybe they'll explode on them, and like maybe I don't want to encourage them to use fireworks at all because you know not allowed in town. Yeah, but how you you can't yeah you can't just throw them in the garbage. 
No. Yeah, they probably explode at the, um, I guess I could, like, cut them open and pour them into the garbage. Yeah. You know? Because it's, it's only, like, it's only when they're compacted and, like, compressed into a small space that they turn into fireworks. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe you should cut them open and then put them into a powder and then use it for starting fires on purpose. Oh, yeah. Throw some in your... They're mostly, mostly Roman candles, you know? Oh, yeah? I don't know how that works, because you light it and then they go, boom, boom. It's like shoots them out. It doesn't go all at once. I don't know how they time it out, or I don't know how they work. Yeah, maybe weird fuses inside of there. Uh. Oh, yeah, they probably still yeah. explode. Um, yeah, I don't know when, when it's a good time to use them. The wood for the fire. I, I was, uh, I was gonna... But I never did that movie. And uh, probably never will. Oh, uh, the wind, yeah, with the special effects fireworks movie, yeah. That way, when you light off a little fireworks, you can have it on video. What do I do? I'm gonna put them in my new house and just store them? Uh. Yep. Pray. I don't know if they can spontaneously go off, but they probably more more likely than anything else. But it's been a while. Maybe they're getting weaker and weaker. But uh, yeah, they they are explosives. I had a like fireworks. I like in my home when I was a, when I was a little kid. We always had like bought a lot of fireworks, and we always had some extras that were sitting on the shelf in the laundry room for a long time and they never exploded. I think maybe they need to come in to... Uh, well, I've seen videos of a... Uh, of like a fireworks factory exploding and it's really scary, so... Yeah. yeah. It'd be pretty bad if if it, like, started shooting off Roman candles in my house. Fireworks factories probably have, like, barrels of gunpowder or whatever it is, too, or, like, all the ingredients. Oh, yeah. That's true. How do they make the mortars do that thing where they, like, explode into, like, a ball of color? How does it work? I don't know. There's like shell. There's like I seen the um some video about making fireworks and there's like different levels of like in like tissue or whatever in the middle. There's like there's some explosions and then they have like a bunch of level layers separated mm -hmm. by some kind of like fiber. Oh. Mm. So the colorful, like, firework part is, like, things burning in the sky. Like, there's, like, material in there, like, gunpowder and, like, probably other flammable or levels of flammability things. On fire in the sky, huh? Okay. Yeah, it explodes, like, the middle of the I never really understood how they make them. But it's pretty, it's pretty old-school technology. I don't think it's changed that much since they invented it. No, they're all in... I'll come from China too. If we buy stuff, the fireworks from China to celebrate the U.S. Independence, yeah. Yeah. Um. But I, you know, we saw a couple of fireworks, but not that many. Yep. How's the production end going? We should, you think we should go to TCTV? Should we uh, book that? Yeah, we should. We gotta do that. Um. See, I guess I don't know what my schedule is like, but we remember. I remember what I, I don't remember what I said, but basically it was like there is 
two or three days a week that are available, and they were not convenient necessarily for us. Like, I think it might be a Saturday, one day. Yeah, yeah. or a Thursday, or right? Thursday was a day. Thursday I, and Saturday, I think those are the days. I can swing it if I get, if, I, if we plan it out, like, in, like, two or three weeks. Oh, uh, no, the internet is going slow. End of July. Yeah, and also, you think the end um, of July? John Webster, we can go visit John Webster. Yeah, we should do that on a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, so we can go visit John Webster one of these days. We could, like, maybe even, like, Do a little visit with John Webster and, and videotape it with a single camera and then bring it back. back yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. That's what I want to do. Like on maybe even this okay. coming Tuesday. Or yeah, it's possible. Coming Tuesday? This coming Tuesday or the next Tuesday? One or the other. And when I'm not at work, I can let you know when that is. Oh, you're, you're at lunch break right now. Well, you, uh, you can eat your tacos. Well, you eat your tacos. Well done. I only get 20 minutes, and I think it's just about up. So. All right. Thanks, Freddie. Bye. Bye. And not much is going on. Spend a lot of time in bed. Like when you wake or sleeping when you're watching TV. Yeah, I spent my own friggin' sleeping. We're sleeping. sleeping. The other fellows on the messages. And we're getting a little bit of bomb noise, and it's a Tuesday, and it's the midday, and we're, what's going on, you know, the middle of the week in the, in the summertime. The, yeah, it's going slow. Come for new routed, weird things happening. Okay, bye, future. Bye. Sure, it's us the past. Where is the future, James? Okay. Mm. That is just... We're talking to y'all uh, messages. We're talking to my brother about you got hot dogs from work. How did just bitch. Did you, uh, are you working for the government? Okay, bye, future. All right. Well. We only got about five minutes left today, and we did all that tape stuff, and we did all the message stuff, and we did a lot of the phone stuff, I and mean, what else are we going to do on the phones? Maybe I should try to call James one more time, or call James back anyway, because I don't know what happened. So I gotta like do this thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's this. Uh, where's the contacts? How does this thing work? Uh, I don't know. Oh, view profile. Okay, here it goes. All right, I'm putting James in the system now. James, you're getting in, into the uh, main system. Now uh, save. James, save. I put it in there. Did, did I not? Did it not work? Why isn't it allowing me to save? Yeah. yeah, this thing is crazy. James. James. G. Well, well, it's not working. I'm just gonna call you, James. I'm just gonna call you using the, uh, the number. I'll figure this out.
Hello? Hello. Is it working? Is it working now? What's up? It's the end yep. of the show. Yes. The end of the show, yay. We got about... We made it. We, three, we got three minutes. Three minutes, huh? I talked to Freddy. Hello? Hello? You did? I did. Oh. How's Freddy? Freddy's eating tacos. Tacos and hot dogs, huh? Yeah, and he's got hot dogs, and he's got tacos. I had Chinese food. What did you eat for breakfast? Uh, from where? What did you eat? What did you, uh, what did I get? I got Far East. What did you eat for breakfast? I didn't eat yet. You haven't eaten anything? Gin is my breakfast. Gin? No, I woke up with a lot of anxiety today. Yeah, gin. Oh, well, you know, I think, to me, having a regular eating schedule will help with your anxiety. Well, you know, I eat a lot regularly already, normally. Today I woke up feeling some kind of way because I'm just thinking about shit that I don't need to be thinking about. Oh, all right. Well, the show's over. We made it. Thanks, James. Here's the credits. Thanks for watching. It's Wednesday. We're on TCTV channel 22, 11, 30, and 21. Check it out. Yeah. Ready to be on YouTube. 360 Call me a message. You're on TV. Ready Three six zero two two three four. Great women with Thanks to you. TVC TV and the Bay Bay. Jordy Thompson. So the Brooks Sports Fan Video. Mark the top player. Mountain Boys North the West. We're back to stop by. Come to Austin County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And Cozy Burgers and Viewers. To you watching. Thank you. Hey John, where are ya? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.